Hello, I'm Rachel Jones and this is Calkine TV's Breaking News live from Sydney. At its meeting today, the Reserve Bank of Australia decided to increase the cash rate target by 50 basis points to 1.85%. It also increased the interest rate on exchange settlement balances by 50 basis points to 1.75%. The board places a high priority on the return of inflation to the 2 to 3% range over time while keeping the economy on an even keel. The path to achieve this balance is a narrow one and clouded in uncertainty, not least because of global developments. The outlook for global economic growth has been downgraded due to the pressures on real incomes from higher inflation. Also, the tightening of monetary policy in most countries, Russia's invasion of Ukraine and the COVID containment measures in China. Inflation in Australia is the highest it has been since the early 90s. In headline terms, inflation was 6.1% over the year to the June quarter. In underlying terms, it was 4.9%. Global factors such as much of the increase in inflation, but domestic factors are also playing a role. There are widespread upward pressures on prices from strong demand, a tight labour market and capacity constraints in some sectors of the economy. Floods this year are also affecting some prices. The Australian economy is expected to continue to grow strongly this year with the pace of growth then slowing down. Job vacancies and job ads are both at very high levels and a further decline in unemployment is expected over the months ahead. Higher inflation and higher interest rates are putting pressure on household budgets. Consumer confidence has also fallen and housing prices are declining in some markets after the large increases in recent years. Now, today's increase in interest rates is a further step in the normalisation of monetary conditions in Australia. The RBA board says it is committed to doing what is necessary to ensure that inflation in Australia returns to target over time. Well, that's the latest from the RBA today. Stay tuned to Calkine TV for all the economic news that matters. I'm Rachel, signing off for now.